What if Quagsire was in Gen 1 OU? Now this wasn't the most like popular Pokemon ever requested, but I did see him, you know, every once in a while. You guys would be like, please do Quagsire, and I understand why. Not only is Quagsire cute, a popular Johto Pokemon, but the water ground typing is interesting in Gen 1, since the only real grass type you might see is Victory Bell, and even then, it's like sort of just like casual bait in a way, at least in my opinion. And for you guys, there is another reason. It has to do with Quagsire's move pool. Because for pretty much every single comment that I got, it was always, Oh, why don't you do Quagsire? He has a water ground typing, stab earthquake, and he has access to blizzard and recover. How do I, how do I put this to you guys? Yeah, you guys are going to be in for a rough ride. I'm telling you right now. Although I will say, if you guys like did have it your way, I have a really bad feeling that Quagsire wouldn't have been able to do anything either way. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those videos. Well, let's just start off by going and looking at the base stats. Because, yes, he does have amnesia, but 65 special? It's... it's not good. It is... Like, in some ways, it would be like, okay, that's only, like, 5 points lower than Tauros. But trust me, in execution, it really holds you back. It means that, like... Honestly, it means that... With, and without Amnesia, it would just be just a completely garbage Pokemon. But Amnesia is the only thing that might help it, like, do something in OU. And even then, I have a sinking suspicion that it won't be able to. Because... You also have like 85 attack, which is alright, but not the best. 95 HP is good, but that speed is also just awful. It's faster than Slowbro, but I think that's it. Or it's faster than Slowbro and Snorlax, obviously. But like, I'm pretty sure even Rhydon's faster than you. Because I remember correctly, Rhydon is base 45 speed. Yeah, so, this dude's already be struggling a lot, and we haven't even looked at the Musa yet. Speaking of which, yeah, sorry to disappoint you guys, but he has no Blizzard, no Recover, and... Well, I think that's about everything you would want that you think he had. I don't understand why he does have Blizzard, though. That's very really stupid. But, other than that, he has Earthquake... Ice Beam, Surf, Amnesia, and I just did the Hair Cross video, so I think it's really dumb that Hair Cross doesn't get Hyper Beam, but Quacksire does. But what are you gonna do? So for the most part, his move set is mostly sort of, um, you know, like uh, figured out. You always get Ice Beam, Surf, Amnesia. As for the last move. Most of you are probably going to put on Earthquake, which, yeah, I understand why. It's It seems pretty self-explanatory. But personally, I would rather use Rest. Because I was thinking to myself, okay, so what exactly does Quaxa use Earthquake on? Which sounds like a dumb question, because it's, you know, a ground type. As tap Earthquake, what wouldn't you use Earthquake on as a higher attack stat and everything? However, when I really thought about it, thinking about like the things that exist in Gen 1, like Tauros, Snorlax, like say Executor, or Starmie, Swobro, I feel like his Earthquake isn't really doing that much work. I feel like in any instance where you would, you know, be able to use Earthquake, I feel you would rather just go for Amnesias and just try to go for... You know, like a stab surf or go for an ice beam. Because I just don't see Quagsire's Earthquake doing enough damage. It is not Rhydon's Earthquake, that's for sure. So even Pokemon that are physically weak, like let's say Alakazam or Chansey, I feel like they can just easily stall out Quagsire's Earthquakes with their recovers. So, what would be the point? You would just... I honestly think that rest will be better because it gives Quagsire much needed recovery. 
and it doesn't have recover, so this is the best next thing you can give it to it. But even then, it's not good. Quaxar, you know, he can't really afford to just have some turns doing nothing, but he kind of has to. And Earthquake wouldn't do much either. Even against something like Jolteon, where you're hitting Jolteon with super effective damage. Quaxar is a ground type. Jolteon can't really hit it either way. So you'd rather just use the opportunity just to set up like one or two amnesias. That way you can just be more threatening to just basically everything else. But there are definitely cases where Earthquake could be handy. Like for example, it helps in the Gengar matchup. Although it's not a guaranteed one hit KO. So even then, would Amnesia be better? Because at least then you're not like dying to his psychic. But then you do still kind of lose to like, you know, Gengar's hyp Hypnosis and Nightshade. I don't know. Let's just start looking at the replays. There's not as much as there usually is. Mostly because I didn't want to record stuff like, you know, getting out to like Jinx and Executor. And as you can see, Body Slam, it does like probably around like a 4 hit KO. And that's without a crit. Which. Yeah, it's pretty, it's uh, pretty good, like, you know. It's good that Quagsire can, like, tank those, but it can't really dish anything back. So, Quagsire kind of has to get up in Amnesia. And obviously, Earthquake wasn't really going to do that much, which Tauros would actually be threatened. So, Quagsire just can't get an opportunity against Tauros. It, Tauros just outdamages it. And even Rest can't really save it. And it's basically the same thing for Snorlax as well. Although, granted, Quagsire is faster than Snorlax, so he gets a much better opportunity to, you know, like, actually, you know, get some stuff off. But even then, like, Body Slam and Hyper Beam do a lot of damage. And, really, I feel like this, like, a critical hit obviously would kill, but it's Snorlax, so that's not too common. However, as you see there... It's actually not that hard for even Stormwalk just to go for two Hyper Beams in a row. And then Quagsire dies without being able to do anything. And again, against Amnesia Lex, it's a little better. But even then, like, you. Quagsire can't really hurt Stormwalk. Like, maybe with Earthquake, it would be a little bit better for like this match, like, particular. But even then, I'm pretty sure, you know, Snorlax, he has a lot of HP. I'm assuming that he has no problem just using uh, Rest, and it can probably, you know, like, outlast the Earthquakes. Even if it can't, like, Quack's like this, I don't know. Sorry if it seemed kind of, like, down, but I just, I don't know. I just don't see Quack's are doing much. And granted, I probably should have done a little bit more testing. Because I, I definitely did use do some testing with, you know, like, Earthquake and whatnot. Especially with, like, Pokemon where it would be a huge threat, like, you know, Gengar. And some other ones too, but I just... It just didn't seem worth it to me. And even, like, his Amnesias, I don't know, after doing so many replays, it, it, even, I even feel like he, he doesn't even do that much damage. Which, obviously, he does. He absolutely does. But, you rarely ever get to, you know, do anything. You never get to, like, you know, hit anybody with that huge special stat. Because it takes you so long just to get to a point where you can threaten stuff. And once you get to that point, like, they can just, they've already gotten a lot of free hits on you. So, like, theoretically, like, yeah, like, Chansey, like, you know, like, Bolt Beam Chansey can't do much without a freeze. But, like, Seismic Toss Chansey, or even if it's just, like, spamming Soft Boiled, it can easily, you know, just stall out the Quagsire, and both of them, like, can't really do much to each other. And I did not realize that someone joined. That's kind of funny. But yeah, like, look at this. Like, who is honestly winning here? I'm assuming probably the Chansey, but I couldn't tell you. All I know is that I did not want to, like, sit here and just wait this entire thing out. So at some point, yeah, I, I just forfeit. I'm assuming that, let's see here, 10 rest, and then 19 seismic taunt. Okay, I don't actually know who actually would have won this. It probably would have went down to, like, you know, freeze hacks. 
Which, it could have been anyone at that point. And he gets Alakazam. Psychic, like, almost two shots. Yeah, you know, <laughs> amnesias, but Alakazam is fast. It crits a lot. And it gets special drops. So the chances of Quagsire getting enough amnesias to where it can, you know, like, just, you know, just do anything to Alakazam, or not even just do anything, just survive. It's, I don't, I, I just don't think it's going to be possible. Which, like, obviously it is possible. You might be able to do it. But I just think statistically it's just not in your favor. And here's another example of that speed just being awful. Because being, you know, out of like cloister, really bad. And the fact that you're a ground type, which means that you, you know, like, you're water typing, you don't resist it, you take it neutrally, that just makes it far worse. And then, without amnesia, you just have that 65 special, and yeah, you're probably starting to see, like, you know, it just cannot go right. And then, meanwhile, for Gengar, uh, Psychic? I'm not sure if Psychic would be better than Nightshade or not, but also, as you see there, Earthquake, not a guaranteed KO. So... I guess Gengar wouldn't actually risk it, because it just it would just take too much damage. And to be honest, there's a lot of other Pokemon that can very easily handle Quagsire. And not to mention, like Quagsire with Earthquake might might not even be the most popular thing in the world. And if Earthquake isn't like common, then the Gengar matchup becomes significantly worse. And it's already pretty bad since he outspeeds you and can't put you to sleep. And also, like, I'll just put it as a hyper fast. Because, like, see here, like, even if you don't have Earthquake, Jolteon literally can't hurt you. Like, yeah, like, it got a lot of double kicks off, but that's because, you know, I just decided to go all the way and just set up ma the max, which you wouldn't even need to do against Jolteon. Jolteon wouldn't even stay in on you. So maybe with, like, that context, uh, Quagsire could potentially be better. Where it's, like, you use it, like, against their electric types, they switch out. You get at least one amnesia up, and with at least one amnesia, you're like you're not a huge threat, but I, that's at least enough to where you can somewhat hit something. Maybe. And, and now, actually, I I try to think about it, and yeah, I it still doesn't really sound very good. What would us and what would Quacks have even one amnesia even look like? Uh, I forget what the exact number is, but it, I'm assuming it's. Probably not higher than like, let's say, Starmie or Alakazam special. And also for Swobo vs Quacksire, you both can set up Amnesias, but only one of you is resistant to it, and it's not Quacksire. So Swobo can very easily win the 1v1. Granted, it kinda has to fish for a crit, but he's gonna get a lot of chances. And even if it doesn't work out, Quacksire just cannot hurt Swobo in return. Not with Earthquake, Ice Beam, or Surf. Two more replays. This one is Starmie. And even though, like, obviously they would run T Wave, for this one I gave Psychic, Blizzard, and um, Surf. Because just because I was curious. And if it just has, like, let's say Thunderbolt, Blizzard, or Surf, obviously the Quagsire can very easily uh, stall it out. But with Psychic, Starmie can probably win in the long run. Either tries to go for. Uh, special drops, or it's a Starmie. It'll just keep trying to attack until it eventually gets crit. And it probably will. I'd be surprised if it didn't get a crit. So, what does Quagsire do? It just tries to survive. And it has a hard time doing that. Last but not least, we have Zapdos. Which, you might think would be an auto win, just like with Jolteon. And it mostly is... But Dropex does a lot of damage, and it's a Zapdos, so he's still gonna crit a lot. And even with Amnesia, Ice Beam, two shots. So there absolutely will be scenarios where Zapdos actually does win the one v one. And if you're a Ground type that loses the one v one against Zapdos, you would not be the first because there's Marowak, Sandslash, and probably some others I can't think about. But you really need that Rock typing to um, you'll truly be like a huge threat to Zapdos. And Rizaptos just not be able to hit you, which Quagsire just can't do. 
And here is the matchup. Uh, and... I don't know if anything should be moved. Should something be moved to Cuckoo either way? I think it might be. But everything else... Yeah, it's... It's not good. The Quagsire just does not have what it takes to, like, do anything at Gemma OU. Which probably wouldn't be that surprising. Because, like, in Generation 2 overuse, I don't think there's any, like, big, like, offensive grass types. I know there's Executor, but I doubt it's being used for its grass stab. But even there, Quagsire just couldn't make it, so it's an underuse. I will say, though, I do believe that Quagsire would be an excellent Pokemon in Generation 1 underuse. Because it's our, it's another water type, which might not seem that special, but having Amnesia is nice. And even though you're much slower than Tentacruel, having a Stab Earthquake is something that they do have to keep in mind. That is actually a big risk. I'm not sure if it one-shots. I have a bad feeling that it doesn't. But even then, it's still a threat, and like, you know, like Tentacruel probably doesn't risk it at all. So, if like, he was there, that would be nice, but he's not. And he's not in Generation 1 overuse as well. But look at this right here, it's definitely a good thing. What do you think? Do you think that I was being a little too hard on him? Do you think I kept repeating myself today? I probably did. But I just... I just couldn't find anything interesting to talk about. It was just... Another very underwhelming Pokemon. And I feel bad. Because, you know... It's like, it was a, it's, he's a pretty popular Pokemon. And it's a, kind of sad to see him, you know, like do this poorly. But on the very least, he is much better than Koitsire, which I did a while ago. But being better than a poison ground type is not hard at all. Also, before I actually started recording, I was curious. I looked up Gastrodon's moveset in Generation 4 Overuse. And he does have both Recover and Amnesia. And Blizzard. So you guys kept the request being, uh, uh, Quagsire. But in reality, you are basically just asking for uh, Gastrodon. So let me know if you want to see that. Also, Swampert as well. Those are two water ground types who I think would have a much better chance of being good in overuse. But even then, there's a chance that they might not be. Because keep in mind that, you know, OU in Generation 1 does not have leftovers. And Quacks are... Not Quagsire. Uh, Gastron could probably, you know, get away with that. Because, again, it has recover. But I can see Swampert struggling. Because that was always, like, the main thing I struggled with. It's just not having reliable recovery. But we'll see. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is Groundback, and until next time, I look forward to hearing from you.